So, so welcome everybody uh, to number two in our row of lightning talks and we stick with Job Solid and uh, this time we welcome back on stage Frederick Bouters and Tony Hurst. Um, I think no further explanation needed. Uh, marketing specialists, uh, marketing automation specialists, architects, well known in the community. And uh, we're going to talk about today in 10 minutes about the update on sending personalized birthday emails. Stage is yours. Thank you very much. Yes. yes Thank you, Eke. I'm going to start by sharing my screen. Um, and let's get into it. Today, Friedrich and I will tell you something more about how we can send personalized birthday emails. Why will we show you that? Because we found out that the information online was outdated and there were no personalized cards really. So um, we thought we would show a slideshow, but a live demo is always more fun. Uh, uh, can you yes. increase the font size a little bit, please? Yes. Like this. A little more would even be practical. Yes, thank you. Do it like this. Okay. Um, to create personalized birthday emails, we will need to follow a few steps. The first one being creating a new custom field within Matic. So you go to settings, custom fields, and you will add a new field that's called uh, birthday. The setup of this field is quite simple. You label it birthday or anything that you want. Um, the object is contact and it's a data type. Once this field is um, saved, it's important that you get the information, um, eh, the birthday information from your contacts within Autic. We already did that here, but you can already also import them. It's important that it's year, uh, first year, then the month and then the day. And once this information is in, you have that information ready and you can use it in further campaigns. Next up, the next step is to create a segment. This segment is also quite simple. We call it the birthday segment. Uh, when you click on edit and the filters, um, we just create a really simple segment with our birthday field that we created equals anniversary. Um, I don't know that everyone noticed, but in Mautic, you can enrich the data of your different segments. For example, using month last, month next, uh, and anniversary and birthday are also fields here that you can use. So we'll create a birthday equals anniversary, and everyone whose birthday or anniversary it is will be placed in here. And my birthday is today in the campaign, not in real life, so I'm already in the segment. Um, then the next step is to create your email. Um, we created a basic birthday email that you can see here. The builder, so it's really simple. We wish you happy birthday, contact your first name, and you can get your gift. And then we go over to the final step, and that is our campaign. And what we do here is very easily, we start in the birthday segment. So everyone who is in that segment, that's their birthday today. Um, as I've shown last time, we wait for six hours because it's changed at 12. And that is the first email that someone gets in their inbox. We send the birthday email and we will delete them um, from the segments afterwards. So next time they will get it again. And this can be running for a couple of years. A uh, fun add-on is you can also send this information over to your um, sales of your account managers so they know okay my client is um, it's just my client's birthday so i'll give them a quick call one important thing to do here is to keep the option allow contacts to restart the campaign on and this way you can send those emails quite easily and they will keep repeating every year but that's not all we have an extra personalization sauce over it uh, that frederick will show to you let me start by and sharing. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can see it. Okay, so you now know how you can send birthday emails to all your people in your contact base, but wouldn't it be awesome if you could really personalize this message because a generic birthday message that's really cool and I like them when I when it's my birthday, but it's even more cool when they are like really personalized and tailored to me and they touch my heart. So uh, how do you do that? Um, one possible way to do it is by personalizing the content of this message. I'm going to start by showing you the end result. And the end result is um, a personalized message. You can do use the tokens that you can typically use, but you also use an image with personalized text inside the image. 
how do you do that? Because email HTML is not very easy. It's, uh, it sucks quite hard. So how do you do that? I'm using the Cloudinary Dam uh, system for this. And I started with, this, with a, a simple image. And then I added with a transform button, you can add an overlay image. So I overlaid text and I overlaid a tones image here. And the text, I hard coded it here just to test it. And then when I this it generates this URL, which you can use and which you can change content in. So you see here, this is a URL which shows us this background image. It also adds to the Geest, which is a name. And it also adds Tone's dumb digital asset management profile picture here. We could embed this. And you see here, I changed the name by the tokens that we can use in the mail. So here you see it's the same image, it's the same URL, but the text is now contact field first name, contact field last name. And this, this uh, what this does is it will show you later on and will, at the moment that the mail is being sent, it will replace it with your personal details. So when a tone, tone's prof, when tone's uh, birthday arrives and the day is come, um, he will receive an email with his first name and last name embedded in this image and his profile picture embedded in this. And of course, as a marketeer, you can do some really nice, crazy visual things and change the font and add some other cool graphs in there. But then it's really personalized picture based on your preferences. And then it looks like this. That's the personalization in a nutshell. I've also um, placed a link to an article where we explain it a bit further. So if it was a bit too fast for you, could, you could always um, read it over there. Okay. Okay. Thanks everyone for joining. Ah. There we go. It was a really lightning talk, okay? So we really went through it blazing fast. Thanks for catching up. Yeah, very, very good. It, it, this tool wouldn't let me get back on stage quickly enough for that. <laughs> okay. Um, I got one comment in the uh, in the chat that there was an overlay that uh, covered some crucial information. I, I meant to remove the the overlays quickly enough. If that did not work all the time, then apologies. Um, I, I, it was not there all the time, was it? I don't think so. Whatever. I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, okay. If, yeah. Thanks, Toby, for getting back. Okay. It was removed. Okay. Happy to hear that. Okay. Um, there is this one link uh, that I'm going to share nonetheless. And as you already said, you'll be uh, probably at least some people will be at the booth to answer any questions. So go to the drop solid booth and uh, touch base with these fine folks. And okay. send personalized uh, birthday emails to all your contacts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was asking about doing this with postcards, but I guess we are not there yet. <laughs> it's our next step. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Thanks, folks. I'll let you go and we'll move on to uh, Leon talking about double opt in in 2022. And that's going to be right here in the same channel. We have to end this session, but I see you in a minute in the reopen session. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, everyone.